For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez. Over four years, female inmates in California were illegally sterilized without the required approval from the state. The Center for Investigative Reporting says almost 150 women received tubal ligations between 2006 and 2010. And citing state documents, the center says there could be as many as 100 more, going back to the late 90s. Between 1997 and 2010, California paid doctors nearly $150,000 to perform the procedures. In California, it's all right to use state money to fund sterilizations in prison, so long as a medical review committee approves each procedure case by case. But records show that review process simply didn't happen in that four-year gap between 2006 and 2010. The Atlantic Wire cites America's long and gruesome history of forced sterilizations in prisons. It's against the law to pressure a female inmate to have the procedure during labor or childbirth, and you can't use federal funding to pay for the procedure in a prison because of worries that the funding would make inmates feel like they had to do it. Former inmate Christina Cordero is quoted in the Salon article saying, As soon as the doctor found out that I had five kids, he suggested that I look into getting it done. He made me feel like a bad mother if I didn't do it. That particular OBGYN, Dr. James Heinrich, told the Center for Investigative Reporting that California likely saved money by recommending the surgeries. He denies claims he coerced any of the inmates into sterilization. For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez.